Hi, Hi Mr. Zach. Zach. How are you? I'm good. Uh, th that, that one lady is a Kenyan. Oh. Hi. So this this is a Kenyan this Kenyan one, house today. This is is from Nigeria. Oh. Yeah, the pharmacy over Where there. in Nigeria? Um, Imo State, the Ibos. The Ibo. The Biafra. The Biafra. They belongs to him and the the beauty shop where it belongs to you him. You see? Yeah. You see those are people who've moved to other countries in the Caribbean this, for opportunities. This, this, this oh, so this beautiful... This beauty shop. Oh, oh beauty to. shop. Human hair, cellular phones. Oh, yeah, I see African beauty culture market. That is the one. Oh. Yeah. Kenya should learn from the Caribbean. That's why I find the Caribbean and everybody is doing really well. Oh. Because anytime you are more talented, because sometimes they need masons, or they need masons, they need uh, carpenters, all those those shady jobs in Kenya really play well in the Caribbean. African tigress. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. People, you say people like ladies from Africa, so it's easy for a lady to get a husband here. Very, 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 very to get an Antiguan husband. Yeah, very fast. Yeah. Very fast. Yeah. Are they loyal? That's the question. Yeah. <laughs> Do they horn too much? That's, that's the question. That's a, that's a Greetings and welcome to Antigua. Today is a very special episode because guess what? I'm going to be meeting Kenyans living in Antigua. You know, I'm from Kenya. Some people don't know when they're watching my video. So I'm from Kenya. My name is African Tigress from Kenya in Africa. So it's really nice to get to learn that there's also other Kenyans living here. Although for me, I'm just visiting. So let me introduce the first one who's going to introduce me to the rest. Hello, hello. Hello, hello there. My name is Mr. Tom Oyange, all the way from Kenya. Uh -huh. HB County, that is Homa Bay. That's County Zero for two what? I don't know, but for the something, <laughs> but you know, uh -huh. uh, I've been here for a while. How long have you been in Antigua? Uh, almost over. Are we crossing here? Yeah. Uh -huh. Over 15 years. Over 15 years. Yeah. So you're Antiguan too. So, so I'm a citizen. You're Antiguan citizen. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a citizen of Antigua and Barbuda. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah. So did you did you just come like how did you get to come to Antigua? Did you just decide like I'm going to Antigua? Well, I came for a vacation for yeah. a visit. Yeah. And then the rest is history. You came for a visit, fell in love with the place, and the rest, and is, the rest is history. history. Man, so many like I mean, Antigua is one of those places that are found to be so diverse. There's people from all over the world, all over the Caribbean. So people come here, fall in love with the place, and they stay. I don't know, maybe I should stay too. What do you think? Of course. <laughs> it's a welcoming place. So how many? Uh -huh. beautiful, beautiful island. Beautiful island. Uh -huh. and, uh, and very uh, very welcoming. Uh -huh. The place is quite nice, are uh, friendly. Uh -huh. And you have got uh, a lot of beaches here. Oh uh, yeah, of course. 365. 365. <laughs> I think you are 366 right now. 366? There's one that was just discovered just the other day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> right now. Uh -huh. So a beach for a beach for a day. Uh, of every for the whole for, year for the without whole repeating. Year. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So um, do you ever go back to Kenya? Yeah, I've been there like uh, twice, but uh -huh. I'm, I'm planning to go this year. Twice since 15 years ago. Yeah. Only two times. Two times. I supposed to go during the COVID time, but uh -huh. um, at that time I was not feeling well. Uh huh. So I I, I stayed back. You stayed back. Yeah. All right, I have so many questions coming, but I know we're going to be meeting the others around here. Well, now that we're talking about uh, Kenyans living abroad, I know this video is going to reach a lot of Kenyans and Africans living abroad. So if you are living in Canada, USA or England, and you are looking for a fast, reliable and secure way to send money to Africa with no transaction fee and the best 
rate ever there's this application called lemfi that you can use and what's interesting is that if you use my code tigress you are going to get cash back i'm going to leave the link in the description go ahead and download that application and you're gonna thank me later interesting that i was walking on these streets the other day and i didn't know there's kenyans here, kenyans around here. Ah. so approximately how many kenyans uh, do you know in antigua right now i think uh, around 10 but some of them come here just for visit like it's and, uh, and they go away and okay. some come as medical students and they go away oh so after they get their papers they go away okay Hey, hey, I know this is a Kenyan. Hey, hi, hi, Mambo. Hey, Yes, yes, yes. That's nice. <laughs> you know the other day I just passed here and I didn't know that you are there these Kenyans just across the road. I was walking there. Welcome to New Taste of India. New Taste of Restaurant India. Uh -huh. Kenya Iko Waindi. Oh, okay. So how yeah. long have you been in Antigua? Myself been here for one and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How is it? Yeah. You miss home. Of course, home is always here. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh nice. no, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Tom, big up. Big up, big up, big up, Tom. Thank you so much. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Now get to meet my sister. You're welcome. What do you Rita is in the kitchen, but I'll call her shortly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Still, can have we can have a seat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this table? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let, me, let me release my customer. All right, all right. See, I'm so happy. I'm so happy whenever I meet Kenyans. Yeah, yeah like even just generally when I meet people yeah, who are like venturing out to new places, you know, to try and achieve, you know, it's really nice. Yeah. I don't know, should I stay? Should I stay back in Antigua? Antigua is a place to be. Antigua is a place where a lot of people just want to have a nice, quiet life. Yeah and some people want to have a good retirement package a, a retirement place uh -huh. they always choose antigua and Barbuda. okay uh, mr raju builder yeah, yeah. This is, I'm doing? Coming, baby. yeah. okay <laughs> mr. <laughs> mr raju is the owner and the proprietor is a, is a kenyan indian oh is mr raju is kenyan indian too yeah. oh okay yeah. okay so, that's really nice that's really nice so it's yeah. nice to meet Kenyans yeah, in Kenya, the Caribbean. Around, you'll be talking to Israel in a short while. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting to hear all these stories. Yeah. So, do you miss Kenya? Of course. Uh, sometimes, but you know, um, right now I'm used to this uh, Caribbean kind of lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, the only thing that makes me miss Kenya is my family, my extended family. Yeah. But uh, I'll pay a visit and still come back over here. So do you have some other family here? Yes, I have my niece uh -huh. in Barbuda. Yeah. My brother lives here yeah. in Antigua and in Canada. Yeah. So it's up, it's up and down. Back and forth, Canada and, and Antigua. That's Rita. That's this Rita. Rita. This is Rita. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm so happy to meet you. Oh, nice yeah. to meet you. But you don't make How long you been here? Uh, ten years now. Ten years. Do you ever go back to Kenya? Yeah. Uh, 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 last May. Last May. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, okay. okay. So here to visit. I'm so happy to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet fellow Kenyans. Yeah. It gives me, you know, as someone who loves 
the Caribbean as well. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. So are you going to wait for Carnival? We have Carnival on the way. I know Carnival is coming, but I'm not so sure if I'll be here for Carnival. Okay. But because I didn't know, you guys did tell me there's Carnival. So I learned too late and I'd already made other plans. Okay. Yeah, but I'll come back. I'm, 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 I'm Caribbean now. I'm Caribbean, just like you now. Okay. So are you so your citizen here already? Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. What do you miss most? Okay, first, what do you love most about uh, Antigua? What I love about Antigua? Yes. What do you love most um, about Antigua? Okay, I feel like I'm home because, you know, they are... Okay, they are like us, you know? They are like black like us, so I feel like I'm home already. Yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. And what do you miss most about Kenya? About Kenya? Okay, home is home. Yeah. Obviously, so, yeah. yeah. So do you see yourself living here longer or are you gonna go back to Kenya? But don't know. Um I'll be Kenya, you know, I'll be going and coming back because here is home too. So this is your home so, now. Yeah. This is your yeah, future. Kenya, so I'll be going and coming back. So you're going back, so. Kenya to vac for vacation? Yeah, and then I come and then back. come back home. Yeah. And take okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, that's really lovely. Yeah. Nice to what advice okay before then what advice would you give to somebody who is um interested in uh, what should they know before they move to antigua what should somebody know okay it depends in terms of what like what like some of the things culture shocks the experience okay, culture is different it's not like african yeah yeah so yeah it's more like western they live like western culture yeah so why what you don't know what yeah, I okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I just gave me a break. Okay, okay, yeah, I understand you in the kitchen. Nice meeting you. I hope right. we're gonna get time and hang out Maybe. when you're free after work. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Right. Another Kenyan here on call. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good. What's your what name? My name is David Yange. I've been living in the Caribbean for the last 20 years. Uh -huh. But living in living in the Caribbean and also living in Montreal, I've been working in the uh, big hotels in the Caribbean and right now I've also my houses up here in uh, Montreal too because this way in Montreal. Oh, that's Canada, Montreal, Quebec. Quebec. Oh. Yes. But I live in the Caribbean. Of, uh, big restaurants. I worked in a place called Jubibe. I work with the Barbuda Ocean Club and right now I'll be uh, by this year, by the end of this year I'll be going to Anguilla. Hey, so you are living the life. <laughs> so the life in the Caribbean. A lot of Kenyans have to know about the Caribbean because there's a lot of opportunities. Uh -huh. People just lack to know the Caribbean. There's a lot of opportunities. Kenyans, should, Kenyans can travel in the Caribbean with no visas. Yeah. And there's a lot of opportunities. So Kenyans should also inquire about the Caribbean. There's no visa. They just have to get the transit visas. Yeah, the transit visas. But some countries, you don't need transit visas. As long as you have... Uh, you are return ticket, yeah. So, what do you love like most about the Caribbean? So, what I can say, like uh, the life, the, uh, the government is not very mismanaged. We, uh, the, there's a lot of accountability. So, these, these are uh, these are things that Kenya should learn from the Caribbean, because there's a lot of accountability. So, the Minona Patauku, Kilamto Meshim Mwenzagi, there's no tribalism. That's why I find the Caribbean. Everybody is doing really well. Oh, I noticed that. I noticed that. Yeah, like if you're hard working, if you got skills, if you're educated or whatever, you'll always have opportunity. A big role up here because anytime you are more talented, because sometimes they need masons, wanna, they need masons, they need uh, carpenters, all those those shady jobs in Kenya really play well in the Caribbean. What people don't understand is like Kenyans believe that education is the key. Education is not the key. So the trades, so the trades, carpenter, masonry, and all that, the trades. It, it, it really pays well up here. You find a lot of people owning a lot of buildings, and they they just contractors. They become contractors at long run, long last. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is only system, those were slavery systems which were set up to control Africans. So, when are you coming back to Antigua? It would have been nice if I could have met you too. So, so I'll be coming in Antigua. Basically, I'll be flying out from Montreal, uh -huh. which will be 17th of uh, August. Yeah. 
coming to Antigua for almost four or five days. Then I'll, uh, I'll go to Kenya because I'm building also a house in, a, in the village. So I'll be going to see my projects in Nairobi in the village. So, so this is one of the best places that I lived. Uh -huh. There's no there's no crime at all. There's no crime on Galinyo Mokitembea. People are not even complaining. There's a high standard of living, but the best thing about Apia, everybody has a job. All right, and that's lovely. You know, what what brings desperation? Pale watu wana kazi. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime that doesn't have jobs, sometimes we com we complain. We have a lot of criminals. We don't have no criminals. Anytime. You create opportunities for Kenyans. Kenyans are hardworking people. Kila mtu ata after job. Kila mtu ata kwa excited and ata after job. Ana fanya vitu zake. Because anytime you come from work, umechoka, una time ya kuenda kuiba kitu ya mtu. But anytime, anytime you don't have a job, you have an idle mind. Yeah. You have an idle mind. So it's a high time also, the government also to try help Kenyans so that they can look for opportunities out of Kenya, in the Caribbean, all over the world. Na That's sizo zenye wanajaribu kutuwekea zile za kwenda asuji kukwa mbotu Saudi? No, no, no. Those are, those are slavery. Happy at least you are more independent. There's a lot of opportunities. This is a place that you can also bring your family. Okay. It's not just because in Saudi you can never bring your family member. Yeah. But then you can bring your family member. Yeah. Our Arab open to Africa. Uh-huh. But happy, you just have to keep on your lane and make sure that you just have the drive and make sure that you just do your work and you can even invite your family because there's opportunities. Opportunities up here are endless. All right. So, total. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your contribution. Yeah. Hope we'll get to meet soon anywhere here in the Caribbean. Okay. Then thanks for everything. Okay. Have bye. a nice day. Okay. Enjoy. Bye. All right. Spoiling us. What are these? These are chicken samosas. Chicken samosas. Yeah. yeah, we are eating taste of Ken India. <laughs> taste, taste of India. Ozia. Ozia. Napoleza J. Napoleza J. Suna Lina and Napoleza Kama Susan Wetu. Susan. Hi. Susan, do you know this? Do you know this lady? She's the Af she's the African tigress. Uh, uh, uh? Susan. Hi, Uncle Tom. This lady is from Kenya. Oh, she's in Antigua. She's in Antigua, yes. Oh, you're in Kenya. Uh, we are no, we're in Antigua, Susan. Come on. We are in Antigua. <laughs> oh, oh, we should. Oh, we are in Kenya. I'm surprised. Mdanganyo ko Kenya stuke. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So Susan, I, I, I say, um, she looks like you know, you look alike. I should have. <laughs> yeah. I should have met you when I came to Barbados. To ba Barbuda. Barbuda. Barbuda, you coming to Barbuda? I already came and left. She oh, you did. But I'll come back again. I'll, I'm gonna come back again. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Right, so what are we going to be having here? We're having our mixed fried rice and uh, mutton masala combo. Mutton masala combo. So what's in the mixed fried rice? Fried rice. We have shrimp. We have goat. Uh -huh. We have vegetables and yeah. uh, fish in it. And fish in it. Yes. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to go for this. Right. You know, this is also food that we find in Kenya. This mm -hmm. is common food in Kenya. Sure. Yeah, we have Indian food in Kenya, yeah. especially yeah. the coast of Kenya. Yeah. All right, so. Thank you guys. Yes. Your and <laughs> thank you so much. Water, yeah, please. Yeah, Water. 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 Okay. All right, thank you. Let's try the food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. The food is really nice. Nice and tasty. Very nice food. Oh. How is it? 
It's wonderful. Out of 10? 9.9. Mm -hmm. Where did the 1.1 1 .1 go? How good? Very good food. The 1.1 went on Kachumbari. Oh, because of Kachumbari. You know, the getting Kachumbari is in this island. <laughs> It's difficult because they import. They have to, they have to import That's everything. Mm -hmm. Don't make me mm. oh, So we live in Taste of India, new Taste of India. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. The food was amazing. The food was amazing. Stayed back, you know, had to catch up. Ah, now I feel like I'm home. <laughs> Especially when you meet people from your home country, it just makes that feeling like you're surrounded with people from home, so you kind of feel so much at home. Anyway, so what were the challenges? Did you face any challenges when you first came here? Me? Any challenges that one can face? Not, not exactly, but people normally face, maybe because I, I, when I got here, yeah. I was lucky to get a job with the government, so everything else went smoothly. Oh! Yeah. I didn't get up any problem, so everything was arranged by the government. Uh huh. So I didn't have time. I, I didn't have problem with the work permit and those kind of uh -huh. stuff. Uh huh. So after that, you know, and once you work with the government, you get um, a, temp a temporary residence. Yeah. Immediately, and so you work with, you work without a work permit. Oh, okay. So, so now the rest of the things becomes very smooth. Oh, okay. So it, was, it was a smooth ride. All right, all right. So this is the popular. Heritage key. I have videos walking in there. You can find them on my channel So what's your favorite? Uh, so I'm just going to be asking you random questions. Okay. What's your favorite Antiguan food? Antigua food is the Your favorite is coconut and saltfish. Coconut Dukuna is like is, is a mix of coconut and sweet potatoes. Uh-huh Dukuna Dukuna. It's called Dukuna and Saltfish. Dukuna and Saltfish. Yeah. Oh, where is, where is she? She's, she's coming. She's on her. I saw her and she just, maybe she ran back for something. Young, because I noticed you speak both with her accent and when you're speaking to me, it's different. Not really. Yes, yes. When you speak, when I heard you speaking to some it's people just, from here, you sound different just, compared to when you're speaking just, to me. It's just a normal Creole you speak over here. Uh-huh. With a... Uh, Kind of Jamaican and Patua, Patua and, uh -huh. mixed up together. Okay. Yeah. So now let's talk a little bit uh, about the cost of living here in Antigua. How much would it cost to rent like a two-bedroom apartment? It depends on the location. Yeah. Location really matters. So, so we got are they in the middle class area? Let's say middle class area. Middle class area is around. Um, from fifteen hundred dollars per month. Per month going up. EC dollars or EC dollars. So how much is that in US dollars? That's around uh, seven hundred EC dollars. Seven hundred US dollars. Seven hundred US dollars. Yeah. Okay. So what are some of the middle class areas? A place like where? Middle class areas, places like uh, Villa. Uh huh. Okay, need to cross here. National school bus system. Can we go? Okay, you see, middle class areas are places like? Villa Libata. Uh -huh. What about places like English? English, but yeah. uh, some places are middle middle class, and some areas are for the for, for the for the high class. Uh huh. So five hundred, uh, seven hundred US dollars yeah. for a two bedroom. Yeah. So, but um, some areas like in English, but some of them are too expensive because of uh, the, uh, the location. location. Yeah. Location really matters. Yeah. Excuse me. All right, so right now we are back in the car and I also have some more questions. I want to learn as much as possible and also share that with you. So how much does it cost to buy a car in Antigua? 
It depends on if it's a new car or an old or it's an old vehicle. Let me say used to have brought less than fifty thousand mileage. That's our okay, so let's give a, a which car which are, which car is the most common here in Antigua? Toyota. Which Toyota? Toyota Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla. Okay, how much would that cost approximately? Around thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars. EC dollars. Caribbean. EC dollars. Caribbean. So how much in Kenyan shillings is that? It's around uh, 12,000 US. In, Ken in Kenyan shillings around um, 1.2 million. So that's about the same price in Kenya. Yes. So the cars here in Kenya are more, more or less, less the, the same. same yeah. Slightly cheaper than Kenya. Yeah. So where do most people get their cars from here in Antigua? Is it the US? No, they get them from Japan. Japan? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Japanese All right. vehicles. Okay. So what's the most challenging thing that you... What's the most challenging thing to find here in Antigua that you easily find back at home? Wow, well, uh, job. So it's hard to find jobs in Antigua? Jobs is very easy to find here. Oh, no, no, the challenging thing, okay, one thing that you find in, you, you, you struggle to find in Antigua, it could be food, it could be something that you easily get back at home, so like, it's a struggle to get it here. Oh, like, sorry. Uh, I'm talking about things like um, vegetables. Uh-huh. Uh, I kind of, uh, because they import most of the vegetables or ground produce, they come from overseas, they come from the neighboring country called Dominica. Yeah. And they're being shipped here every week. Uh huh. So, which means if they don't have a shipment for a whole week until they're uh -huh. gonna be suffering from a lack of ground provisions. Uh huh. Apart from that, we have got um, the, lo the local. Um, the local vegetables like uh, spinach or uh, which they call kalaloo, those, yeah. are, those, are, those are, are grown locally. Yeah. Lettuce are grown locally, those are easy to find. Uh huh. Um, most of the ants, when you talk about meat kind, meat kind, uh, most of the meats come from overseas. Uh huh. Especially the chicken and the chicken products. Yeah. We have got the local uh, industry, the local uh, like the, the the dairy industry, the yeah. beef, uh -huh. the muttons. Uh -huh. they, they are sourced locally, but um, due to the uh, the demand from the hotels, most of them come from overseas at the same time. Okay. To supply the uh, the hotel industry. Okay. The hotel industry has a big demand. Okay. For those uh, products. Okay, so food is quite pricey here compared to back home. Very pricey. But the, there is good money too. Oh, it's okay. There is good money too. Yeah, it's affordable. It's affordable. Okay, so what, now that you mentioned it, what do you easily find here that is hard to find in Kenya or Africa? So what do you find with so much is here that you don't find at home? Okay, that's a, that's a, a very, very, um, lots of things. Initially you had mentioned about jobs. Tell us about jobs. Jobs is not, is not as, as hard to find here as back home because um, there's, a, there's a, um, an influx of um, there's there's a there's an influx of uh, people who come from overseas who come over here for jobs because uh, uh, we've got uh, industries that are, that are quite open like the construction industry are quite open and they're looking for workers all the time. So at home Django. Correct. Uh huh. Uh, the hotel industry, but hotel industry is most is most 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 predominant by the locals. By the locals, yeah. yeah but um, the construction industry is the one that. Um, like the tradesmen, yeah. Uh, the, the tradesmen have a lot of jobs over here, like electrician, plumbers, carpenters. Yeah. There's a lot of opportunities for those kind of jobs over here because uh, it is a is a is a growing economy. Do they pay? Do those jobs pay well? Because you know, back home, those jobs, lots of trades don't pay well. The jobs they are paying really, really good. Very uh -huh. well, yeah. 
Yeah, David said that too. Once you're, once you're in this in those streets, yeah. Just know that uh, your, your, your bread is well buttered. Oh, yeah. so it pays better than even like being like a cashier banker or something like that. Cashier bankers don't have nothing. Oh, really? They just get uh, no ordinary pay. So tradesmen make good money. Make good good money. Okay. What other industries? Uh, apart from that, remember this is this is a service industry. Uh, country. Economy, yeah. So um, that apart from the service industry, which is the hotel industry, yeah, uh, those construction that I'm talking about, the, the other the other industries are service oriented and more. Some some of the jobs are just basically um, based left for the lo for the locals first. Uh -huh. Then when, when they cannot get the locals to to occupy the seat, yeah, is when now they they give it to the foreigners. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Can you see? So that's corn. If you wanna buy, she just bought some. Sure. Yeah, sure. That's for a Kenyan dish. Yeah, I want to make dairy. The dairy. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the corn here is yellow. Yeah. Does it taste the same as back home? It's not really same, but we have no alternative. So yeah, it's sweet corn. Sweet corn. All right, all right. <laughs> Hello! Hey, African Tigress! How are you? <laughs> I'm good! <laughs> you know him? Yeah. Oh. People here like people from Africa, by the way. Yeah, like people ladies like people from Africa. They, yeah? So, people, you say people like ladies from Africa, so it's easy for a lady to get a husband I here. Think so. <laughs> Very fast. To get an Antiguan husband, yeah, very fast. Yeah. Very fast. Yeah. Are they loyal? That's the question. Yeah. <laughs> Do they hunt too much? That's, a million, that's the question. That's, that's a million dollar question. Because <laughs> you know, honing, honing, there's a thing. Mr. Zach, hey. come, come on. This, meet some Kenya, this Kenyan lady. Hi, Mr. Zach. Yes. How are you? I'm good. And th that, that one lady is a Kenyan. Hi. So this this is a Kenyan this Kenyan one, house today. This is, is from Nigeria. Oh, yeah, the pharmacy over where there. in Nigeria? Um, Imo State, the Ibos. The Ibo. The Biafra. The Biafra. I've been there. <laughs> all right. Okay, Zach, all Kenya. right. Oh. Yeah. Ah. yeah, the pharmacy there belongs to him, and the the beauty shop over there belongs. You to see, him. you yeah. see, those are people who've moved to other countries in the caribbean this, for opportunities this, this, this oh so this beautiful this beauty shop oh, oh beauty shop human hair cellular phones oh yeah i see african beauty culture market that is the one. oh yeah. lovely so there's other uh, which nation or country in africa has the most of their people here in antigua nigeria Nigeria. Yeah. Even this shop belongs to a Nigerian. This one. This one also belongs to a Nigerian. They love this beauty stuff, and and a lot of times I notice Nigerians also do car sell, car parts, yes. car spare parts, and things like that. They love, yeah. Yeah. Ma, it's quite interesting how people would. It's one thing that I'm learning, like how some people would move from countries where they've grown and called home. And now they move to another country and that country becomes home and where you are born and raised now becomes a place where you go to visit and come back home. It's quite interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Maybe that would be me someday, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure out that. So this is downtown. High Street. This call is High Street over here. High Street. You know one thing I've noticed, like you see the sign over here? Yeah. When people die here, they make posters. Yes. yes. I, uh, the other place I saw that was in Ghana. Yes, yes. Yeah, like they would make even big billboards uh, to to talk to to like yes, you know farewell. Most of the most of the heroes, the, the, the national heroes from this country, most of them came from Ghana. Oh Antigans, I think that's why Antigans are Ghanaians. Antigans are Ghanaians. Yeah. Oh, so Antiguans are Ghanaians. That could be possible because that culture, I've not seen it in other Caribbean islands yeah, like, apart from here. There's a hero called uh, Prince Class. He's, he came from Ghana. Oh, okay. One, one of the national heroes for, for this country. All right. If you were. 
work I do you feel like you should have come to Antigua earlier or do you think you just came at the right time? I think I came at the right time. You came at the right time. Do so you feel this road is easier? Yeah, yeah. Let's go straight up. You get it all from road one time, yes. Alright. So where are we right now? This is called uh, this is Church Street. Oh, Church Street. I'm gonna go to Independence Avenue. Okay. And then, and then join, join uh, the Old Palm Road. All right. So, how is education like here in Antigua? Is it free? Do you pay for education, or is it free when you are a resident? Well, schooling. Schooling here is basically free. Yeah. Uh, it's just maybe some little subscription that you have to pay. Yeah. Just all the as, way to as, university. As a subsidy, yeah. So if you are okay, if you are citizen, it's absolutely free. Yeah. No, there's there's a fee you have to pay, but it's not as much as you know supposed to be. Uh, like approximately, how much would it be? Less Maybe. than a hundred dollars. That is that is in a primary school. Yeah. High school. High school is uh, like it's not so much. Uh huh. And uh, to the co college level, it's paid like you know, it's like the government is paying almost three quarters. Yeah. And you're paying a quarter. Okay. Three quarters and a quarter. Okay. All right. What about healthcare? Healthcare ones, you have got. Um, if you are sick. If you are sick. Yeah. Once you have got the medical benefit card. Yeah. It's free. So, do you, how do you get the medical benefit card? You have to be, you have to be, you have to be a uh, taxpayer. <laughs> you have to be one of the taxpayers. Yeah. Plus, you have to be registered from an employer. From an employer, if you are working. Yeah. And if, if you are under the age of 16. Yeah. There's a there's a subsidy for that. Oh, okay. But once you are working, you are, you are entitled for the medical benefit card. Okay. That, enables you to go to the hospital and get treatment for free okay because you're contributing towards um, the economy i mean you're paying the taxes towards that health it's called a health insurance okay yeah. is it good enough it's very it's good really good so does when you say it's free does that mean even if somebody if, if you are paying all those the taxes and all that so there's nothing like private insurance here or like the public one is good enough we have got a couple of private ones too, because you know, not everybody can go in the same place. Yeah. We have got private ones. So the government ones is trying. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's all that bad, badly off because um, they are trying to do most of the basic things that they can they can do, and the ones they cannot do, mm -hmm. you have to they, they they recommend it to go and do it in the private. In private hospital. Or, or, or private labs. Okay. Yeah. Well, so it was really nice hanging out with you and fellow Kenyans today. Yeah. So I have one last question. Do you regret moving to do you regret moving to Antigua? Never, never. 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 Antigua has been a place that um, I call home. Yeah. Home sweet home. Yeah. Because of the tranquility. Yeah. The ambience. Yeah. And the friendly people that you have in this country, yeah, and it's more more of um, a paradise. It's a paradise. It's a paradise. Antigua is a paradise. A paradise. All right. It's All right. Paris. The Paris that you, you, you must visit before before you, before you, um, you go to you, the next go to the next world. <laughs> before you leave this world, you must yeah. visit Antigua. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to be marking the end of this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you have any more questions, please type them in the description below. He's going to see them. He's going to respond. And because we're going to meet again, I'll definitely ask them. I'll definitely ask him those questions. So if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the like button. Like, 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 and share this episode. I always say sharing is caring. Go ahead and share this episode, and I'll definitely see you on the next episode. And until then, bye bye. Bye. Kwaheri. Kwaheri. Oriti. Thank you, Oriti. <laughs>
Okay.